So here we are at the Otago Chess Club in Dunedin, New Zealand, south of Christchurch. This is where it all began for me anyway. Well, not really, but this isn't my first chess club. But here I've got a game, one minute bullet chess, that was played on the 2nd of June. Okay, and today's date is the 13th. So here we go, everyone knows, and I play E4, E6. Okay, so E4, E6. D4. D5. Look at the rustic. No wonder I like rustic. Look at these rustic pieces. No uniformity at all. There's some others. Okay. So D5, E5 happened. F5. Okay, F5. F6. And then knight takes F6. Now these pawns can get quite good here. These central pawns for black can get quite active, as you may see. Who knows? So black's just played knight of six. Now white plays a sensible move, stopping um, pawns moving to e5 and also developing. I now play c5. So the board picture is so forth. So c5, we're both sort of equal on development. And then comes Bishop all the long way to g5, pinning my knight on f6 to the queen on d8. I'll just play another developing move, knight c6, and maybe wanting to play cd4, knight d4, knight d4, queen d4, no, I would play cd4, this is one minute chess by the way, bullet, cd4, knight d4, e5, and then the, if the knight takes on c6, we've got a dog next door, we're going to have some nostalgia, you know, noise, it's going to be, it's better with a bit of noise, or blowing smoke in your face, not that people do that anymore, so, you know, we've got knight c6, and white now, relinquishes and surrenders in the centre. Surrender! And so my black bishop on f8, see, has now taken that pawn on c5. And now my opponent um, plays bishop b5. So I'll stand up, just so you can see the position for what it's worth, okay. Now I'm asking you the question, what did I in one minute chess play next and the answer is here with I went bishop takes f2 check and notice that if the king takes on f2 then my knight can go to e4 check very primitive but good to instruct on the importance of developing and keeping up with it now the black king, the white king has to move of course because it's checked with the stallion on e4 and the bishop on g5 is going to be taken next move by my knight on g5 on e4. So I played bishop f2 and king f1 is the response. So now I've got a bishop sitting over there on the other side of the board. So, I now retreat the bishop back to c5, which is a good place for the bishop. And now, for my next trick on the Muppet Show, bishop c6, which is check. We'll just station that king, make it look a bit better. Okay, bc6, it's really the only move. And now we have knight to c3, which is also good for white to develop again a little bit more. And now I play bishop a6. I'll just check. King e1. Now what do I do? A castle. Okay, I castle. 
That's how to do the normal stuff. Keep it normal. Rook F1. And now I play E5. Okay, now I've just played E5. Now black could be meeting white playing knight E5. But then if knight E5, then sadly for white, bishop F1. And after rook F, after king F1 capture, then knight E4 check the arm um, with the rook on f8 is checked the king if it takes the bishop and then knight takes bishop on g5 or queen takes bishop on g5 and it would be all over frankly um, so uh, I played e5 and here my opponent played Queen d2, good, they're developing. Okay, Queen d2. 